My name is Kishor Bidesi, and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Pharmacology and Experimental Neuroscience, University of Nebraska Medical Center. I'm also the vice chair for graduate education. That is the person responsible for addressing inquiries and concerns from potential students about our graduate program here at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. I graduated from the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine, Trinidad, with a PhD in analytical chemistry under the supervision of the well-known Dr. Ivan Chanying. While doing my PhD work, I became fascinated in the effects of fungal metabolites on biological systems. During my postdoctoral work, I chemically modified the plant alkaloid ryanodine, which is native to my home country, Trinidad, to determine how exactly this molecule interacts with the body. Today, my lab focuses on characterizing mechanisms responsible for cardiovascular complications during diabetes, and one of the proteins we study is the ryanodine receptor. There is no known way to prevent type 1 diabetes, also known as childhood diabetes, and exogenous insulin is needed to lower or regulate blood glucose levels on a daily basis in these individuals. However, these individuals have a higher incidence of cardiovascular related diseases including heart failure, renal failure and stroke and the reason for this is not clear. We are especially interested in the role oxidative stress plays in the pathogenesis of these cardiovascular complications during diabetes with an emphasis on the role of reactive carbonyl species. Reactive carbonyl species are small electrophiles that are synthesized in the body and used for such physiologic functions as leukocyte trafficking and inflammation suppression. During diabetes, production of these molecules go up and their degradation goes down resulting in excess. When in excess, reactive carbonyl species also do bad things, one of which is to covalently modify proteins at select basic amino acids. Our laboratory uses a combination of state-of-the-art techniques including confocal and Doppler imaging, molecular biology, electrophysiologic techniques including lipid bilayers, proteomics, biochemical analyses, pharmacologic analyses, and gene therapy to study the impact reactive carbonyl species have on the cardiovascular function. We also synthesize some of the molecules needed for this work. During the last couple of years, we have expanded our research capabilities a bit. Nebraska is one of these agricultural states, and there are a large number of confinement facilities used to raise animals for meat consumption. Workers in these facilities complain about skeletal muscle weakness, but the reason for this muscle weakness is not clear. We recently found that the dust from these confinement facilities contain compounds that are capable of modulating skeletal muscle ryanodine receptor, a potential cause for this muscle weakness. In a sense, I'm pursuing my research interests in how small molecules impact the function of biological systems using sophisticated methodologies and techniques with a group of inquisitive students, postdoctoral fellows, and junior faculty right here at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. My name is Matthew Dale and I am an MD-PhD student here in Dr. Pidisi's lab doing a rotation. I am optimizing methods and ways to assay reactive carbonyl species using TLC and HPLC. I am particularly interested in cardiovascular research and how these reactive carbonyl species have an effect on heart failure. Hi, my name is Karanda Moore and I'm a graduate student in Dr. Bittesi's lab and I'm studying the effects of reactive carbonyl species on the function of circulating endothelial progenitor cells. Uh, in my study, we culture and differentiate EPCs here in our laboratory, and we use techniques such as MTT assay, confocal microscopy, western blot analysis, and tunnel staining to assess how these reactive carbonyl species affect their function. We hope that the knowledge gained from our work will be used to slow the progression of cardiovascular diseases in patients with diabetes mellitus and those who work in 
animal confinement facilities and of course improve the quality of their life. <laughs>